There we go. And we're back. And we're back. All right. So I showed you my invisible move, my freeze move, or my teleport move, and my freeze move. This is my invisible move. I'm on screen right now. You can't even see me. <laughs> yeah, that's like what happens. Boss, I know. <laughs> that's how boss. Because I've been showing me a lot of Naruto. <laughs> uh, just messing with Coach Tyler. Okay. All right. Everything's back to normal. And we still got plenty of time before class starts. Yeah, I don't know. Like my whole, I don't know why it throws every time. It's all good. Huh. Actually, freeze on mine now as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I back out. It's just the camera. It might be an internet connectivity issue. I took my phone off Wi Fi. Oh, it shouldn't be that. There's. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for bearing with us. We still got some time before class, of course. We're just changing things around, stress testing some things, making sure things work in case our main things fail. Now we know how to use that one. Over there, Ronan, one of those guys, hands up like a gentleman. I kind of run. A little long, a little too many syllables. What's up, Ronan? Um, my, I can't really do like stuff with this hand because I have like road rash on it, so it yeah. hurts. See, so look. Oh man, what happened? Ooh, there? You fell down. I like it. I fell while running around. Oh. Ow. And it's healing. So I and I can't like I can only move I can't move my fingers that much. That's okay. If we have to do any punches with that hand today, just you know, poke them in the eye. All right, or just do something like that. Like I can't do like push ups that well. Oh, okay. Don't yeah, don't don't, don't worry. Um, one arm. One arm. Oh yeah, I just put the other arm really big. Just one arm push ups. <laughs> I got some on the other one too, but it isn't that bad. Okay. Well, yeah, if anything uh, today is outside your comfort zone, just modify it as you as you would need to, for sure. Um, but thank you for sharing with me. Uh, be careful. I don't want to have to cut that hand off with the pirate. Uh, I think the only person I haven't talked to today is Dorian. Let's check on Mr. Dorian. Dorian, what's up, dude? Hi. How's it going? Good. Now, Dorian, I noticed you have bunk beds in your room. Do you sleep on the bottom bunk, top bunk, or what's the bunk bed situation? It depends. Depends? If, if I'm watching TV when I go to sleep, I sleep on the bottom. If if I'm not, then I sleep on the top. Gotcha. Mix it up. Keep on guessing. That's cool. I never really, because going so tall, uh, it doesn't matter which bunk I sleep in. One, bunk beds are usually short, so that's uncomfortable. And then if I sleep in the bottom bunk and I sit up, when I wake up, I hit the top bunk. But then if I sit in the top bunk and I wake up, I hit the ceiling. So it doesn't really matter where I sit. It's, it's always a lose-lose. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I always wanted to have bunk beds. I don't know. Growing up, that was like the thing. Yeah. Loft beds. Loft beds? Loft beds. So imagine the bunk bed, uh -huh. but without the bottom bed. Well, that's the thing? 
It's just like a really tall bed. Uh, no, usually they're a little shorter, so maybe like like that tall. Huh. Like uh, Ralphie and Abigail both have one. They're probably like like this tall, but then underneath of it, it's got all the space to make. You know, if you want to make like different all forts kind of under room. it. For activities. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it gets the bed up out of the way and gives you all that space. I've never heard of that before. That is, that's interesting. They make adult size ones too, like for real. Huh. That's crazy. I got Josh here. Josh, I am impressed by your bookshelf. You have many leather bound books, and your room smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> uh, the camera's looking good today, yeah, Josh. Favorite book? Favorite book. Yeah, whatever. Pick one thing out of that bookshelf that comes and show me. I'm interested because I used to, little, little known fact, I was like a two time, I don't know if you guys still do AR, like a two time AR champion. I read so many books. Yeah, What's this? Something stories? So if we're actually in the middle. Of what, what book is that, Josh? It is Land of the Stories Worlds Collide by Chris oh. Colford. Gotcha. And what's it about? I have it. Last time I read this book, I was like in the fourth or third grade, and I'm like going to eighth grade, so I don't really remember. Okay, but you like that book quite a bit when you read it, then. Yeah, I did. Good. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. We have plenty of time on our hands, so why not read some more books? You know, we got plenty of time for Netflix and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. You definitely have some time to read some books. All right. I see Ashton Kelly joining. We got about three minutes before class. You're not need anything special today. If you have your powder pillow, it'll be good. We may not even need that. Um, it's a pretty open space kind of day. Um, also, we should not freeze anymore. If we do, just bear with us. Uh, maybe the internet's slow. Huh? See, Ron, I'm messing with his kung fu hands. <laughs> so I was just thinking. Uh, see, I think is that a hand from Sierra? I I think she's oh she's mirror, I think she's mirroring Ronan. Kind of high five across the cam. See, on my camera I got Mariella on this side, and then I have Sierra underneath me. So if I put my hand over here, and Mariella puts her left hand out. Oh, is it right hand? Left hand. Other hand. Oh wait, maybe it's we flip up. Now I can. High five through the. <laughs> oh, see, look, it works. Let's <laughs> <laughs> right. see. Uh, but I'm not, I don't know if it's like different for everyone, like where each person's face is. Kind of a Brady Bunch situation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. If anyone needs water, he's rushing. We got one minute left. One minute. Mm -hmm. No, we go. Roll the way. Raise your hand. Does anybody here speak a language that is not English? Anyone bilingual? Just curious. Anyone speak any other languages? Dorian does. Sarah does. Mariel a little bit. Okay, cool beans. I'm gonna ask you guys about that later. I'd be interested in learning some different languages. Anybody trying to go? Oh, okay, sorry, messing with it. And it's 6.30, there's enough waiting. Everyone pop up. Yes, sir. Action, you have a plug set off to the side. We don't need it immediately. We don't need it for the warm up for sure. All right, everyone's up. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and begin with how we normally start class. And attention! Yes, sir! Black belt creed. Ready, set, begin. As, As a dedicated, dedicated student, student of martial arts, arts I, I shall live, live by the principles of the black belt creed. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and the indomitable spirit. Ski? Cool. All right, really quick water day. We're going to start with some up downs. So we know foot fires. If I say up, we're going to jump up, clap our hands. If I say down, we're just going to slap the ground with two hands. Don't necessarily sprawl. So I'm not going to shoot my legs back. I'm just going to hit the ground 
and pop back up. Super duper simple. People will tie your spaces because you have some bias. All right, and foot fires ready. Go fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Up, up, jump, 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 jump. Up. There we go, nice and high. Down, boom, quick. Up, up, down, down, down. Up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Don't slow down. Down. Up, down, up. Ooh, there we go. And time. Woo! Good job. All righty. Hands on the lapel. Feet show with the part. Body squats. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, Four sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, Eight. sir. Nine. Nine, sir. Ten. Ten, sir. Very good. Now we're going to travel down to our knees for our push ups. Ronan, this part, modify if you need to. If you want to do like five one in push ups, you can. Everyone else, we're some dive bomber push ups today. So our hands close together, our feet further out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swoop down and almost touch the ground my nose, but not quite. So I swoop down. Come up, then I reset. So I scoop down, come up, reset. I'm not actually falling on the ground. All right, Coach Andrew, can you a side view on that? Maybe I'll help him see a little bit better. Or either, either side is fine. So watch. My rear end's kind of in the air to start on this one, a little different. When my back is straight, I bend my elbows, swoop down, almost fall down, but not quite. Even right now, my hips are off the ground, okay? We're gonna do 10 of these, ready? And hands close, feet wide, and one. One, one sir. Nice, really dip down, like you're almost touching the ground. And two. Two, sir. Great, good job. Joshua. Keep going. Three. Three, sir. Nice, good job, Ashton. The more you can get that kind of worm kind of movement, the better you're doing. And four. Four, four sir. Good, Sierra, so have good balance. And five. Five, sir. Nice, Lexius, come along. And six. Six, sir. Still should be bending your elbows, this little push up. And seven. Seven, sir. Get low, get low. Nice, Ashton. Eight. Eight, sir. Good job, Corey. Nine. Nine, sir. Don't let your tummy touch the ground. And 10. 10, sir. Very, very good. Now we're going to be sitting down, or excuse me, laying down on our backs. All righty. So we're going to be doing uh, some bicycle kicks today. So if you want, if you're on a hard surface, you can place your hands underneath your bottom. You're going to have your feet up off the ground, kind of like your open guard. You kick one leg out and the other leg out, back and forth. Don't kick out up towards the ceiling. You want to kick out straight in front of you, like you're kicking someone's knee, but you don't want your legs to fall down after you're done. So I'm never putting my feet on the ground. You go out and back, out and back, all right? We're not gonna do a number of these. We're just gonna do these until I say time. So everyone get into position? Yes, everyone sir. Ready? Feet up, on your mark, get set, begin. One out, back and forth, you're riding a bicycle. Keeping those feet up. Good, it's a little bit legs, but this really should be more in your abs. The longer you kick out, make sure you're fully extending those legs. You should start to feel it in your stomach as we go six pack muscles. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Keep it going, Another. breathe, make sure we're breathing. Keep going, yep, yeah, definitely breathe. There we go, good Hands job. Time, Ooh, yeah. all righty, everyone sit up, yes, sir. Hands are up, pal. Now, for this, you might want your pillow if your pillow is really thick, it might be more uncomfortable than if you didn't have your pillow. I'm not gonna use my pillow because the pad is really thick. But if you want a little cushion on your neck, you can grab it if you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the lapel. I'm going to roll back. We're doing our stretch. I'm going to kick my feet up towards the ceiling. So I'm going to roll back, kick my feet up, and then come back to normal. So if you're worried about your head going back and hitting the ground, you might want to use your pillow. But if you've got good control, your head shouldn't be touching the ground. My chin's down. I'm just on my shoulders. So I'm here. Boom. Okay. 
If you get a shot, my head coach injuries, my head's not actually touching the ground. Ooh. All right. Very close, but not quite. We're going to do 10 of those, 10 of those. Feet together, kicking straight up as high as you can. Everyone ready? And one. One, sir. Two. Two, Two sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Up on those shoulders. Pick those feet Six. up. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven. Seven, sir. Good, Dorian. Eight. Eight. Eight, sir. Keep those legs up. Good, Ronan. Nine. Nine, sir. Last and best one. And ten. Ten, sir. Awesome. Everyone standing back up. Yes, sir. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Now into some stretching. Let's do some standing stretches today. We want us to really focus on our balance and our breathing. We're going to start. First stretch, simple. Feet together. Knees nice and straight. Reaching down, touching our toes. Typical stretch. Just reaching down, trying to touch your toes here. Focus on your breathing. Welcome, Tristan. Welcome to class, bud. Good to see you. All right, and feet wide. We're going to reach down. Again, knees are still straight here. Reach down, both hands to one foot. Keeping that knee locked out nice and straight. And switch. Yes, sir. Good job. Keep holding. Breathe. Okay. Down to the middle. Down low, down low. For some reason, this one really helps me get low. Is that I imagine like there are two handles on the ground. I'm not grabbing anything. But I just imagine like kind of like school doors, something you pull open. But there are two of those handles on the ground, and I just kind of imagine pulling myself lower and pulling myself lower and pulling myself lower. And that gets me really low in this stretch. So if you have a hard time, imagine you're just pulling yourself lower to the ground with your arms. Keep it going, keep it holding. Watch awesome. our balance. And pop back up. Yes, sir. Good work, good work. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, one uh, you know, hamstring stretch. So one hand's gonna grab your foot. Good balance, we're your hamstring. Be careful with a hard surface. I want to do this one because I really want to focus on that one leg balance we need for our one leg squat. That's part of some of our tests for the fitness, the strength portion. So I wanna kind of use that balance in our stretching today. So foot to hand, use your free hand for balance if you need it. And what I'm trying to do is trying to point that knee of the leg I'm holding at the wall behind me. All right, go ahead. Turn it out and start. I'm going to bend the leg I'm standing on just a little bit. What makes it simple, makes it easier, is if you focus on one point. Go ahead and just stop moving around. <laughs> uh, if you focus on one point, so if you just look at your clock or your pencil sharpeners, what I'm using, you'll be good. You just focus on that one point and you point that knee at the wall behind you. Good job. You can use your free hand as well. And time, switch. We're yes, sir. Side. Same stretch, switching legs. So I bend the leg I stand on a little bit. Free hand for balance. I point that knee at the wall behind me. And if we can balance for this, we can definitely balance for our body squat. Should be super duper simple. And time. All righty. Kind of three, we're gonna have a quick water break really quick. When we come back, we're gonna start our drills for today. Today, our word is instinct. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things with our striking on, uh, on point with our motion. Water break, one, two, three, clap. Awesome job, get our water, get back. Get our water, get back, sitting down. Yep, good job, Mr. Dorian. If you're already ready, you can run this like a black ball for me. Good to see you, Ashton, man. I haven't seen you. I need Ashton real quick. I think it's my first time seeing him in a while. 
Ashton, how have you been doing not being at the academy and being home and all that stuff? Uh, kind of so, so. Okay. You, can, you can talk, I can hear you, man. Uh, okay. Okay, have you been doing uh, online online schoolwork and stuff? Uh, I got a packet. Got a packet? How's that going? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, good talking to you. I'll ask you always man a few words. All right, cool beans. Uh, so we're going to start on our, our word today, our word's instinct. Today we're going to do a couple different drills to help us with our striking instinct. So um, we're going to do striking today. We're going to start with a drill called 369. So this drill is super duper simple. What's going to happen is we're going to do a three move combination, then we're going to do a six move combination, and then we're going to do a nine move combination. In between each combination, though, we're going to do a super set. If I say super set, super set, super set is where you do a lot of different workouts right after each other. So if you were to do curls and then bench press, that would be a super set. It wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense unless you're doing full body. But when you do those different workouts one after another, that's called a super set. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our three move combination. Then we're going to do a super set of workouts. Then we're going to do a six move combination, super set of workouts, nine move combo, super set of workouts. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Our three move combination is going to be the classic jab cross up. So I'm going to throw a jab, cross, hook, and then I'm going to do my super set. Super set's going to be super simple. I want 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups. Then after you're done with that, you're gonna go to your six move combination. Now, I know we can all remember jab, cross, hook, but here's where we need to focus, because now when the six move and in the nine move combination, we're gonna start getting confused. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. That's a lot of moves to remember at one time. And it's not really overwhelming at all if we just look at the pattern, right? So for the six move combination, I'm gonna go jab, Cross, hook, uppercut. Okay, good. That's move four. Other hand uppercut. Move five. Other hand hook. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, other uppercut, other hook. Give me a thumbs up if you got that. Who feels confident they can do that? Okay, all right, so that's six punches. Again, it's jab, cross, hook, uppercut, other uppercut, other hook. So you always switch hands. I'm never doubling up on the same side. Make that easy for you. Now the nine move combination is gonna be the same six move combination we just did, just adding kicks. So now I'm gonna go jab, cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut, other hook. Now here's where it's gonna get fancy. Last three moves. I'm gonna do a switch kick. Switch kick is a round kick, but with the lead leg. So I switch my legs, switch kick. Then I'm gonna go rear roundhouse kick, rear roundhouse kick, push kick. All right, so the whole combo, jab, Cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, switch kick, round kick, push kick. Raise your hand if you did not follow that. Okay, all right. Thank you for being honest, Corey. I'm gonna do show it one more time. I got some other hands as well. Let's jab, left hand, cross, right hand, hook, left hand. Uppercut, right hand. Uppercut, left hand. Hook, right hand. So everything's left, right, left, right, left, right. You do one hand, now you do the other hand. Now you do the other hand. Now you do the other hand. Other hand, other hand. So it's straight, straight, curved, upside down, upside down, curved. Now, the only tricky part for the kick is the switch kick. Switch kick is just like a normal roundhouse kick but with the other leg. And I can't just throw a roundhouse kick with my lead leg because it looks sloppy, it puts me off balance. So I have to switch my feet. My feet are here. I switch them. Now I can throw my roundhouse kick, or my switch kick. Now I throw my normal roundhouse kick, and I throw my push kick. All right, let's try it at least, let's try it at least. So jab, cross hook, T 
10 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups, or sorry, 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups, then the whole thing, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, switch kick, rear roundhouse kick, push kick, 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups. What I'm looking for here is not just you to be technically wrecked, but also honest with yourself. This is an easy thing. When I say go do it, it's really easy to cheat and not do the whole thing. I want you to do the whole thing. It's not a race. Do it. Do it correct. Take your time. Don't skip anything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go over to Sierra real quick. She has a question before we start. So does Ronan. Sierra, what is your question, ma'am? What if you're under a ceiling fan, which I am under? You should be fine when I'm doing anything. Tall. You're too tall for the ceiling fan. To stand up? Okay, well, don't demonstrate. Don't go hit your head. <laughs> okay. If you got a ceiling fan that's low hanging, trust me, I get it. I'm tall. I hit my head myself all the time. Stand someplace else. All right. But if you can't stand up, and that's one of the bare requirements, you gotta have a place where you can stand up. So I think you'll be okay. I don't think your parent would have left you there with a ceiling fan and chop your head off. Let's go over to Ronan real quick. Yes, sir. Um. Could you explain that uh, again? Because I have no clue. <laughs> uh, it's okay. The combination, one more time. It's going to be, and you're southpaw, right? So I'll, I'll chew on the other side for you. Aren't you? You're left-handed, right? Or you're right-handed? Left-handed, right-handed? Right-handed? Okay, never mind. I'll do it normal ways. So it's jab, cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Hook. Now, I'm going to switch my legs. Why? Because everything goes left, right, left, right, left, right. I ended with my right hand. So if I ended with my right hand, now I'm going to go to the left, which means left roundhouse kick. So I switch my feet, throw my left roundhouse kick. Now I throw my right roundhouse kick, and of course my normal push kick. As far as the whole layout, explaining that, we do our three-move combo, superset, six-move combo, superset, nine-move combo. All right, everyone pop up, let's do it. Yes, sir. Everybody up, 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 up. Okay, so a little kitty cat here. A little kitty cat playing around. All right, don't hurt the dog or the cat. Okay, be careful. Don't punch kick anybody. And race dance. Get out of All right, a lot of explanations. When I say go, I'm going to see who can do it all the way through. I'm going to be watching to see who does it correctly, who cheats. Ready, set, begin. Ish, ish, ish. All the way through. Good job. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Who's Push pushing it. hard? Who's pushing hard? I'm coming over the TV so I can see you guys. Dorian's knocking out some beast mode push-ups. Good job. Make sure you really get that chest in there. Activate that chest in your push-ups. Don't move your head a lot. Nice, Mariella. Great, great, great. Nice kicks, Ashton. Ashton's already on the... If he's on kicks, he's already done. He already finished the nine. How the heck did he go that fast? He went 369 that fast? That is amazing. Good job. You don't have a black belt. Can't throw your hand, Ronan. Just do a, you know, do a little karate chop. He has a question. Hold on, Ronan. Let's everyone finish their set, and I'll answer your question. If you're done, have a seat like a black belt. Good job. Good, nice, Josh. Good. Finish strong. Finish strong. Entering into our last move combo. <laughs> Careful, Lexi. Don't kick the dog. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Last thing we should be doing is our superset, right? 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups. Great job, everyone. If you're done, you're sitting like a black belt, crisp and supple sauce. Excellent, Tristan. Good job, Corey. Good job, Ashton. Nice, Mr. Ronan. All right. 
Nice finish, Dorian. Great work. All right, Mary, let's finish strong with her push ups. Great job. All right, one, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. First, I'll answer Ronan's question before I say what I gotta say. Ronan, what was your question, sir? Let me you real quick. Yes, sir. What was the order between like the superset and the, uh, like all that, like in the combos and stuff? Remove combo, then you have superset. A superset is 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push ups. So you should do jab, cross hook, 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push ups, jab, cross hook, uppercut, uh, uppercut hook. 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push ups, then jab, cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, lead leg roundhouse, rear leg roundhouse, push kick, 10 squats, 10, uh, 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push ups. That should have been the order, which leads me into what I got to say. Normally in class, when we do things, it's normal. Not everyone finishes at the same time. Some people finish, then others, then others, then others, kind of domino effect. What should not ever happen is that a couple of people finish way before everyone else. If that happens, somewhere in there either we lost sight of the directions or we didn't really do everything we were supposed to do and some of us didn't even finish doing push-ups we finished doing like kicks or jumping jacks or something which told me we got way off track or we didn't understand the directions yes sir yes, yes sir. sir because if we did everything right the last thing we should have done should have been the last set of push-ups in our last superset okay so there's really only two options and i'll let you pick which one's worse and which category you want to fall into either one you didn't understand what i was asking you to do or number two you're lying to me, lying to yourself, telling you they did everything. If you don't understand what you do, that is a super honest mistake. It happens. It is a confusing drill. But if you fall number two, you're cheating yourself. Right? And the person that keeps doing number two is going to fall behind all their peers that are pushing themselves. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. So we're going to do 369 one more time. We're going to stand up. It's like a song, right? Something like that? 369. Okay. okay. Uh, we're going to stand up. We're going to do that one more time from start to finish. Make sure we do everything. It's not a race. Don't worry about finishing first or last. All right. It's, it's not an ask We're going to do everything correctly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I got quite, I got a hand from Corey. Hand from Corey real quick. Mr. Corey, what is up, my dude? I didn't talk to you today, earlier. Hope your day's going well. Let me meet you real quick. What's up, sir? How many times do I have to do it? You do the whole thing one time. So you have three moves, superset, six moves, superset, nine moves, superset, done. Start to finish, then you're done. Then you sit down. All right, good question. Everyone pop up. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, Josh, I'm sorry. Are you, is that a frame there? Was that a hand? Are you good? Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Now give me the thumb. Did you have a question, Josh? You good? All right, he's good. All right, cool, cool, cool. And raise hands. Yeah. Three, six, nine, super sad. Ready, this time. You're gonna be racing me. I'm gonna do the whole thing with you. All right. Some of you might finish faster than me. I'm not upset to admit that I'm an old person, but I wanna see who can keep up. All right, ready, set, begin. Push, keep pushing, keep breathing, keep moving. Lexi's keeping pace with me. All right, I gotta go faster. Lexi's gonna beat me. Sarah overtook you. Uh oh, I'm getting <laughs> slow. I'm getting slow. I've been eating Ash, too much Ash ice cream. right on with you. Corey's right on with you. Josh. Yeah. Dorian. Oh, 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 So you have finished that fast. Whoa. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. 
She overtook you. <laughs> Ash, Ashen's about to get you. Go, Ashen. Push. Push, 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 push. Joshua, let's go. Nice, Joshua Dorian. That's the last stop. Whew. All right. Good. That was good. Awesome, job. good awesome job. Awesome job. I'm sweating. Feels good. Finishing up. Awesome sauce. Great job. Woo. Now that was much better. That was a lot more honest. Everyone did the whole thing. Great job yourself too. Clap, clap. Two more. Clap, clap. Awesome. So we're gonna do one more drill today, and then we're going to go into um, our strike test game, all that kind of stuff. So next drill we're gonna do really simple, quick drill to help us a little bit with instinct. So instinct is a little, has to do with kind of following, I'm gonna do it cheesy, <laughs> but following our guts, following our heart, all right? Normally, before a substitution happens, you kind of have those spidey senses. There's that tingling. You're like, okay, something's weird. Something's different. All right, you kind of feel off. Um, whether it's someone's looking at you a weird way, it's really quiet, um, no one's there, there's normally a lot of people there. You have to be aware of your surroundings and see the telltale signs that something is different. Because if something's different, those alarms should be going, you should be scanning left to right, right to left, or you're crossing the street, knowing where the danger zones are, all right? There's a couple of things you need to look out for. Hazardous areas, things with sharpness, slickness, the way we can fall, we can get cut, um, places we can't see. So behind cars, uh, no blind spots, little alcoves, somebody might be hiding around the corner. And also, you know, just suspicious people. And right? people, why do they keep looking at me so much? Okay, why are they all seem to be following me? Those are three things you really need to watch out for. Hazardous areas, blind spots, suspicious people. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Now, I know we're not in a simulation right now. We don't have a million props to simulate those things. But what we're going to do with this next striking, striking um, drill is simulate that someone was approaching our bubble. And we have to kind of escalate this as we see fit. Obviously, because someone approaches you doesn't mean we punch them in the face right away. They might be asking for directions, they think they know you, something like that. But when you have someone who you don't know, they're angrily approaching you, they have a weapon in their hand, they have a mask on, you know, these are all things you should be like, I've watched enough movies, I know this is not gonna end well. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. So here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna be standing up in our stance. We're gonna be in a good ready stance. And what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say a time, like on a watch, a time, all right? What I want you to imagine is that you're standing in a clock. Raise your hand, who knows what a clock looks like? Mm -hmm. Everyone know a clock? Oh, we all should know a clock. Lexi had a clock right there. It's her best friend. She knows it. All right, what time is it? We got enough time for a game if we go fast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say a time. All right, I want you to imagine that your feet are on a clock. So 12 o'clock would be straight ahead. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock would be to the right, 6 o'clock would be behind you, 9 o'clock would be off to the left. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a nod of the head if that makes sense. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a time. I want you to think about where that time is on your clock. So if I said six o'clock, that means I'd have to turn around all the way behind me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire off a jab cross in that direction. So if I say three o'clock, I'm turning off the, the, my right and throwing a jab cross. If I say six o'clock, I'm turning all the way behind me, throwing off a jab cross. If I say 11.30, I'm turning a little bit to the left and throwing a jab cross. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right, everyone pop up. Yes, sir. Go on your feet, on your feet. So remember, you're standing in the middle of the clock, 12's right in front of you. And it goes to the right. So one o'clock's to the right, two o'clock's a little more to the right, three is perfectly to your right. All right, just jab cross, and when you're done, face back to the front, face 12 o'clock again. 12 o'clock should be where the monitor is, where your TV is, where your phone, whatever you're using. And raise hands. Yeah. And three o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Back to the front. Nine o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Back to the front. Six o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Back to the front. Five o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Four o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Three o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Two o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. One o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Twelve o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Twelve o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. Six o'clock. Sheesh, sheesh. 
10 o'clock. East, 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 east. 9 o'clock. East, east, east. 12 o'clock. East, east. 6 o'clock. East, east. 12 o'clock. East, east. Attention. Yes, sir. Coach Andrew, really quick pivot down to the feet. Footwork is big. When I do this, my lead leg should be in the center of the circle. Center of the circle. I'm not walking around in my stance. If you're doing that, you can take it really slow and you get tripped up over your own feet. My lead leg stays where it is and I pivot. So I step my back leg up and I spin on my front leg. So if I'm at 12 o'clock, I'm trying to go to nine o'clock, I pick my back foot up and I spin. My front foot pushes to the same spot. It was here, now it's over here. I'm doing a roundhouse kick. It's pivots. Same thing if I go the other way. If I'm trying to go to three o'clock even, I pick up my back leg, I pivot off to three o'clock. That's gonna keep my feet the same distance apart. That's gonna keep myself safe from tripping, uh, keep me on balance. If I turned and didn't want to throw a jab cross, I'm gonna turn and throw a kick to make sure that I have the balance to be able to do that. Is to make sure that I'm good for tackles and takedowns and all that kind of stuff. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right, y'all did awesome with that today. Everyone can have a seat real quick, relax, have a seat. We're gonna go ahead and go over uh, to our strike testing game. Before I do that, anyone have any questions about the clock drill? Any questions? Going once, going twice? All right. All right, great. So we're going to go over to our game first today. We're going to game and then stripe test. We're going to flip-flop it. So our game today, uh, not I'm going to brag, because ah. Coach Bolton has been destroying all the other coaches <laughs> in charades all day. All right, so we're going to play a game of charades, and I'm going to invite some other coaches out here, Coach Tyler and Coach Hi. Andrew, to face off against each other in charades. So what's going to work? is we're going to pick three things, an easy thing, medium, hard thing, and whoever can get through there is the fastest win. So you're trying to make it easy for everyone to guess. So you're on our side. You're trying to help the coaches win. Yes, sir? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. Good deal. Good deal. I'm going to drag over the whiteboard. And Coach Tyler, do you want to draw first or do you want to write first or do you want to uh, act first? Uh, it does not. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. you All right. Then I guess I'll write first. So write first. All right. The coach Tyler is going to write his first word. First thing is going to be easy. I mean, it's going to be the anything. So we're not doing just food or just animals. It's going to be literally anything. So have a good imagination. That's right. I like that face cord. Have those eyes open. Okay. Have those eyes open. Imagination. All right. First one up. Sarah's hand went up super fast. Go, Sarah. One second. Sarah, go ahead. It's a turtle. Nice one. Nailed it. Awesome job. Yeah, you, you, you got to have that game. Oh, um, well, I was your easy, me, or hard. Let's go, Dorian. One second, buddy. Let's see. Dorian, what do you think? A batter? Uh, you get bat was the word. I'll bat, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now the hard one. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's go, man. Ooh, Ronan. Let's try Ronan. Let's see if Ronan got it. Ronan, what is it? Werewolf? Oh, oh, wow. 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 That was nice. Good. Yeah, First buddy. guess at the time, right? First hey, good time. job. Internet five. Boom. Boom. Right, thanks, team. Right, it's Coach Tyler's turn to act. It's Coach Tyler's turn. Thanks, Ronan. Get Ronan. Get embarrassed. Guess. To get embarrassed. That's gonna be a hard. Don't one. let Coach Tyler lose. Don't let him lose. Help him out. Help him out. We'll see if y'all can get it first time. So I'll go. Be <coughs> fair though. Something easy. Easy we'll medium do, hard. Um, All right. He's writing it down. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Take either answer. 
Uh. All right, uh, Mariella, have you guessed yet? Mariella? What do we think? Car? What'd you say? A car? Mm. A car? Yeah, mm, no, no, not quite. Not quite. All right, second guess. Go second over guess. To whatever you want to pick. I think Coach Andrew's a neutral guy. You can pick all those figures. Let's try Dorian's hand went up super fast. Let's try Dorian again. Is he a driver? Yeah, you're close. You're close. You're close. You're both very close. It's I'm looking for something specific though. Kind of. Let's try Joshua. All right, Joshua, save him. Save him, Joshua. Uber driver. <laughs> That's three strikes. Uh, I was looking for either racing, race car driver, or NASCAR. We're taking one of those three. Ooh. So you said car, and you said driver. You said race. Yeah. very close. So that was an easier one. We'll go medium now. Let's go. Um, just so it's known, I failed at the easy level. <laughs> this will give you an idea of how the rest of this game's going to go. Tristan Sand went up super fast. Let's jump over to him real quick. Who? Oh, Tristan. Yes, Tristan. Climbing. You're climbing a mountain? Mountain. Oh, there. nice. All right. Nice. Good now job, buddy. The hard one. The hard one. Let's do. Um, Let's see, what's it going to be? How tough is it going to be? <laughs> Why well, is it Coach Dom here? Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> hold up, hold up. I got to walk off screen for this. Ready? And then. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> pick, pick anyone. Here. Go, Sierra. What is it, Sierra? You are Naruto or Ninja. Woo! Nice. nice. The word is Naruto. The ninja running on the kid. Oh, All, the kids, All, the All the kids. All the kids. Coach Colton. They never catch me recorded doing that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're good. I think that was good. What was it? Bonus round. Yeah, bonus round. Um, really quick, before we class, I do have a couple of announcements for you, everyone, really quick. So uh, on Friday, I sent out a text to all of your parents. We've added more class times this week. There are classes in the late morning, kind of uh, near lunchtime. And there's also these class times. If you want to hop on those, you're more than welcome to. Um, that's just, ultimately, we want to have class. Like the academy just can't yet. And some of the students were having a hard time getting to this class because it's a little bit later than our normal time. So we added a second time for them. Um, other things, we're still doing the home uh, raffle drawing on Fridays. Uh, and last announcement is our stripe test. So we did not do a stripe test today. We're getting to the point now where I think, honestly, you guys might not have all the stripes in your belt, but just given how consistent you've been and how many times we've done the words, most of you have already waiting on your stripes. And for instinct, that's no different. For instinct, our testing requirement is normally either doing a self-defense move, escaping a bad position, or doing situational training neither of which we can do from our own home. So I had to think of a good way to do instinct training, all right? So for instinct, what we're gonna do, if we earn your stripe, if you already don't have your stripe or you don't have credit for having your stripe, uh, instinct is the white stripe, by the way, so you can check on that really quick. What we're gonna do is over the course of the next week, if you still need the instinct stripe, what I want you to do is I want you to be working on your moves by yourself working on your moves by yourself. These could be grappling moves, they could be striking moves, they could be your creeds. Any of your martial arts related things you can practice, I want you to put in a little bit of extra time. Because the worst thing that could happen is you earn all of these stripes, we come back, classes start back, you have a promotion at some point, and you get rusty and you're not confident in yourself. I want everyone to be able to pick up right where they left off, just as confident, just as good, just as fast, just as strong, just as smart, and be able to get that next belt without missing a beat. Yes, sir? Yes, sir.
And some of you were asking, are we gonna change the belt tests and be understanding? Of course, we're gonna be understanding of uh, the next belt test because we have taken a break and that kind of stuff. So you may see some modifications to test, not necessarily making it easier because we're still working plenty hard, but just changing some of the stuff if that makes sense because we've been working different things than we do in the evening classes. All right, other than that, I think that's all the announcements I have today. Everyone go ahead and stand up. Oh yeah, thanks Coach Andrew, who whispered into my ear. We have our student of the day award. <laughs> so as we're standing up, I'm gonna give my student of the day today to a student that was working very hard. I'm gonna give my student of the day today to Mr. Rona Ritchie, who showed up with no hands and still did class. His hands were sawed off and oh! he still came to class today. No, seriously, uh, it takes a lot of, um, commitment to train through an injury. A lot of people sit out, they're back starting, they feel tired, they feel queasy, you know, name an excuse. It, takes, it shows a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment. It shows a lot of effort to the coaches when a student comes to the class because uh, they want to so much, even though they, they have a, a minor injury, um, even though that injury does stink. It looks gnarly, dude. Good luck. All right. So Ronan, see you on the day. I'll be sending that over to your mom's email uh, either later today or tomorrow. So look out for that. And Attention. Yes, sir. Folks. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Stay safe. Awesome job. Keep up the hard work. Eat your, don't, don't eat your toothbrush. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Eat your